don't think today's topic really needs a formal introduction. If you have any knowledge of anime, the online anime community, or art and culture at large, you've definitely heard of hentai, and almost certainly seen hentai at least once in your life. I'd wager most of you have looked at hentai a lot more than once. I know I have. I love hentai. Hentai is one of my all-time favorite things. In fact, not a single day or even hour goes by that I'm not thinking about hentai. But perhaps that means my perspective's a bit skewed on this. I have a bad habit of assuming everyone I talk to is on the same page as me about things I love as much as I love hentai, and I've been proven wrong more than once. So before diving into the soft, pink, jiggly meat of this discussion, a quick history lesson is probably in order. Digimon Adventure first premiered in Japan, both in theaters and on television, in March of 1999. Based on a monster-battling-driven spin-off of Bandai's popular Tamagotchi toy line, and inspired by the world-changingly successful anime marketing campaign surrounding the similarly-themed Game Boy RPG Pokémon, this anime follows a group of children and their talking monster companions, led by a spunky, courageous, conspicuously begoggled young man named Ty. Chickens first premiered on Earth in either meat or egg form, the philosophical jury's still out on that one, several million years ago, and first became relevant to humans somewhere between 5400 and 3600 BCE, when we started domesticating them as fighting animals and later relatively efficient sources of protein, in both meat and egg form. The specific type of chicken meat those eggs come out of is known as a Hen. At some point after these two events, someone, possibly the Wizardmon whose name and IP address appears in the bottom corner of some of its variants, noticed that Ty's hair bears a striking resemblance to the silhouette of a seated brown hen, and using early 2000s image alchemy, combined them into the singularly brilliant work of art known as hentai. Can it wait? I'm recording. No, I, I just... I, as soon as I'm done, I promise. Okay, okay, okay. As anyone who was discussing anime on the internet back then can tell you, it didn't take long for that image to spread like wildfire. So amused were we by the surreally sublime merging of these two seemingly disparate concepts that we posted and reposted hentai countless times, anywhere we could, from AnimeBoards.com to DeviantArt to Gaia Online. Hentai even reached beyond the Weibo sphere into broader pop culture, appearing in the hallowed galleries of Can I Has Cheeseburger, E-Bombs World, and Funny Junk. Of course, there is far more to the cultural institution that is hentai's success than a humorous similarity between a soccer-loving dinosaur befriender's hairdo and a farm fowl's butt, but there'll be more time to analyze all that once we've caught up to present day, which won't take much longer. Sadly, as the popularity of Digimon waned in the West, so too did interest in associated image macros, and throughout the 2010s, there was basically zero hentai on the entire internet. However, hentai has seen a major resurgence in the last few years, perhaps owing to the resurgence of Digimon Adventure Try and the modern Digimon Adventure reboot. Countless YouTube videos have popped up discussing hentai, none of which I've watched prior to writing this video, obviously, since I prefer to analyze from a perspective of pure, uninfluenced opinion. Oddly, none of them feature the actual meme in their thumbnails, instead focusing on anime girls blushing as they look at magic picture illusions, drooling over delicious food they just ate, or licking ice cream cones that are covered in black bars for some reason, which those in the know will obviously recognize as the sort of pictures that were always posted in response to hentai meme threads, part of the joke. And these YouTubers' reverence for the meme is still obvious in the way they stylize hentai in their titles. I mean, why else would they do that? Now, I can't claim to fully understand why someone would need multiple 20-minute videos to discuss a single ancient JPEG, no matter how culturally significant that JPEG may be, but looking at the views these videos get, the market sure seems to be there for it. And as someone who was there in the hentai trenches as a teenager, enjoying hentai on a daily basis, as someone who still frequently looks at hentai today, with an entire folder dedicated to hentai on my desktop, I think I can contribute something meaningful to this conversation. So, with all this precedent and context established and my preamble concluded, it is at last time to begin our deep, 
academic analysis of the themes and composition of this legendary... What is it? Oh! Oh! Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> The, the one thing I would want to try if we did it one more time is could you start describing the plot of Metamorphosis as you whisper to me? That, that's not going to be beautiful. I, I mean, with the microphone right here, it might be. Uh, nah, you think it's good? Yeah. 